Hi, Ukrainian friends. Grace and peace to you. Um, I just wanted to give a short exhortation that I feel like may encourage you in the midst of what's going on right now. I did do a video about two weeks ago talking about um, what the Lord is saying in the midst of this coronavirus. You can find that video on our Facebook page, Ancient Paths International. And you can go to the videos tab and find the video there that says, what is God saying, coronavirus? But in this video, I just wanna take just a few minutes and just encourage you with something that I believe is very, very important. You know, fear has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your life and fear has a plan for your life. And we have to choose who our leader is. We have to choose what we're going to listen to. So I want to encourage you to ask this question. Every morning when you wake up, what do you see? What are you gazing at? What is driving your daily life? Because whatever you gaze at will steer your life. So if you're gazing at circumstances and it produces fear in you, you end up walking the path that fear has for you. So circumstances cannot be your leader. You cannot let circumstances define who God is. So we need, every day we wake up, we've got to be gazing at Jesus and who he is so that we're following him. And I love this scripture. Um, Jesus gave us this perfect formula for where we are right now, the remedy, the medicine that we need right now. John 16, 33, Jesus says, look, in the world, you are going to have trouble. You are going to have tribulation, but... But, that but is so important. He says, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. So you have two different lenses that you can look through in this situation. When you wake up every morning, are you looking at the circumstances? Are you looking at the trouble? Are you looking at the tribulation? Because if you do, it will give you a narrative about your life. You can look at circumstances and say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my job. Okay, maybe many of you have already. You know, what am I gonna do about money? What about this? What about that? Fear will take you and give you a narrative of dread. Okay, but... Jesus said, but be of good cheer. Look at me. I have overcome the world. So either you're going to look at circumstances or you're going to look at Jesus, the one who has overcome. You know, it's, it is so important in this time that we possess our inner man, that we cast down every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We have to pull down those arguments. We have to intentionally set our eyes on him. So who is he? What do you know about him? When we're in a fire, a fire is the perfect um, environment to reveal what you really know about God. A fire will reveal what you believe about him. Does he really love you? You know, 1 John 4.10 says, God is 
love. Is that true or not? If it's true, what does love look like? Are you loved? Settle that issue first. I am loved. I have a God who's a creator, who created me. He formed me in my mother's womb. He named me. He knows every hair on my head and he cares. I love this. Jesus said, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more, how much more does your heavenly father give good things to those who are his? So you have to remind yourself of these things. I am loved. I'm cared about. God is doing something and you, we may not understand it. If you lean on your own understanding in this time, which really has, is the same as saying, I'm, I'm trusting circumstances to be my leader. If you're leaning on your own understanding, you will not find God. He says in Proverbs, do not lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge me in all your ways and I will direct your paths. So don't seek to try to figure it out, get in your head. You know, there's, there, there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end is death. Do not listen to man's wisdom, man's mind, man's ways right now. If anything, we need to be hearing from the voice of Holy Spirit. We need to be taking time to just gaze at Jesus and remind ourselves by remembering who he is. You're the creator. You're God. You love me. You're seated on the throne. Psalm 2 says he's seated on the throne. He's laughing at his enemies because he knows their day is coming. So I want to encourage you today. Wake up every morning and remember Jesus. Set your gaze on him with gratitude and thanksgiving that you are loved, that he knows you that he cares about you and he knows what he's doing. Do not let circumstances define that for you right now. So I just bless you right now in the name of Jesus. I bless you with peace. I bless you with that, what Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You're loved. And I bless you, Lord. I thank you for Ukraine. Pour out your spirit in Ukraine. Pour out your peace, Lord. You said he whose mind is stayed on you is kept in perfect peace. Jesus, I thank you for this sweet time of revelation and encounter for your children, for your people. Bless you. And I will see you in August. Amen.